we have to take some equipment down to Eau Claire today, as you saw in the um, picture on the uh, video. So what we're going to do here, just for a little test, we are going to A, reset the trip. So we're going to start off at zero, and then we're going to uh, reset the gas mileage here as well. So we're going to see, I think this is going to be about a 100 mile round trip ish. I have to go to the golf course here as well. So it may be a little bit more than the 100 miles. But uh, the total payload that we have here today, uh, or the total towing, I should say, with the trailer and my reels that weigh about 80 to 100 pounds a piece here is going to be um roughly 2500 pounds 2500 to 3000 pounds somewhere around there so that is what we are dealing with i expect to get about 11 miles per gallon here no matter what i tow with this trailer whether it's 2500 pounds or up to 6000 pounds whatever i usually get around 10 to 11 so we're gonna see though it is um currently 23 degrees out so it is a little on the cool side. I'm leaving the air suspension in normal. And uh, we're going to do some city driving today along with some highway driving. Um, as you can see, it was a little frosty out, so it was actually quite cold last night. But uh, we're going to get on the road here and see how it goes. One thing about a cold Hemi is that it certainly sounds good when you have to get up to speed and I'm not going to floor it but oh that certainly sounds great hopefully we can see here pretty quick it's really bright out today. The sun is uh, at about full force for December 14th of what it could be. I'm going to miss that sound, miss that sound. But thankfully, I've got till 100,000 miles before I'm going to get rid of this truck and get something else. All right, so far we've averaged 11.5 in our short little driving that we've done. Now we're just getting onto the highway. It looks like we've got a trucker already to deal with. Great. Damn truckers. I'm gonna pass those truckers as soon as possible. They kick up, they kick up stuff on the road and a bunch of other stuff. So anyway, we're getting about 10.3 right now. Of course, we've got on the freeway a couple times, so that definitely doesn't help. And then we're going to set the cruise at 77 on the way down. As you can see, or as I can see, I loaded, I loaded my trailer um, with more weight on the back, which I know I'm not supposed to do, but I know I'm a decent driver, so I know that I shouldn't have any issues, but you can see here when you turn a little bit that the trailer gets a little squiggly not the best thing to do but lucky for me i have towed uh, a lot of stuff in my life so i know what the heck i'm doing but uh anyway it's really cold uh, it's not really cold anymore it's supposed to get about 46 today and uh it's 30 right now we're averaging 9.9 .9. that should go up here once we're able to shift into eighth gear i don't have it on tow mode just because this isn't a lot of weight that I'm towing. Um, if I had a bigger uh, payload and trailer weight here, I would definitely put it on tow mode, but I don't, so I really have no need just doing a casual trip uh, on the freeway. 
down to Eau Claire. So what I'm having done here, I guess I can go on a little rant about golf course maintenance. So with my golf course came with an older mower that the previous owner didn't use very much. And uh, with it came two sets of reels, which are six reels in total. If you know anything about the reels, they're really expensive, brand new. Um, and the mower itself uh, is older, but it has lower hours on it. So anyway, I'm having those reels essentially ground and bed knives put on. And uh, they are going to become my reels for when conditions are worse, i.e., sanding the greens top dressing the greens so i don't have to ruin my new reels and bed knives on my nice triplex mowers that i already have so those will come in handy um quite a bit actually as i plan to top dress more as the uh years go on here with my golf course as i have more money and and whatnot and, and more time to do it so that's kind of exciting along with that i have five fairway reels that I need to bring down just for the yearly maintenance. Um, some rollers, I believe I have seven rollers I'm bringing down and uh, six other reels from my T and fringe unit and greens unit. So it's kind of a larger load of uh, stuff here. In total, you're looking at 17 so 17 reels so yeah this this uh this trailer load here and i do have some stuff in the back of the truck as well but the trailer load itself you're looking at probably 3500 pounds actually the trailer being a thousand and uh the actual load and payload yeah about 3500 pounds so 3,000 ish, I would say 3,000, 3,500 pounds. So kind of uh, a little, a little heavier here, but not overly heavy, not as much as my boat would be, but uh, enough to take the trailer down. So anyway, I'm excited to take this stuff down and then get it back and get it back onto my machines and uh, kind of get ready. But this is what December 14th looks like in Northern Wisconsin. No snow. If there is no snow on my golf course, which there is, I could open up for golfers. It's crazy, it's supposed to be 46 today. I wanted to actually get out and golf, but there is still snow on the course and frost and whatnot, so I don't want to damage it. But what a weird uh, weird winter indeed. Um, it's it's going to be like this for Christmas as well. So not overly happy about it. Um, if you guys have watched videos or subscribed, which you should do, uh, you can see that I got two different snowmobiles this year, new to me. So um, kind of anxious to get those going. But at the rate we're going right now, we'll be lucky to get out by February at least in the Rice Lake area. So um, that's wishful thinking. Um, we have a month and a half left till then, and then we ho will hopefully get a month of riding in this year. It's not looking to be great. Um, it, it's a shame. But in terms of me, I've been able to get a lot more work done at the golf course. There's been no plowing, no snow removal, anything like that. So I've been able to get done a ton of work, and uh, it, it's really been great. Um, I, I really don't mind a winter like this every couple years. It's not a not a huge not a huge bummer for me as I like I said I can get done with a lot more work, work on some equipment, work on uh, some stuff like this like I'm doing right now. So getting back to the MPGs here we've been on the road a little bit. We're averaging 9.6. Um, I will I will rejoin here once we get back to. Uh, our final destination down south of us to see what we're getting for total MPGs. But so far on this trip, we have gone 16.1 miles and average 9.7 miles per gallon, but on the road for 20 minutes. All right, we're almost to the destination. So we've averaged 9.6 miles to the gallon. 
over the course of 39.3 miles so uh, not great this is truly less mpg than I thought I was going to get now granted we're not quite there and we're going a little slower now so it should maybe creep up to 10 but yeah it's 37 out now too by the way it's been almost a 10 degree temp well, it has been a 10 degree temperature change since I since I got down here but uh, yeah, not great. Not not what I truly expected towing this. I know the aerodynamics of the trailer aren't great either, but I expected a little bit more than what I am uh, getting right now. Still 9.6. We got about, I don't know, five, 10 minutes left till our destination. And uh, then we'll be there, so. 9.6 on the way down, towing about 3,000 pounds with a 16-foot trailer. Um, not great, not terrible. Averaging, uh, this one doesn't tell me how fast I've been going. Um, I don't know, I set the cruise at 77. Now I'm going 72, so now it's 9.7. We should end up with about 10, so not great. Could be better. We have reached our destination, it's just over there. We've averaged 9.9 .9 miles per gallon with the Hemi, with the E-Torque, and we have driven 46.7 miles uh, at 9.9 .9 miles per gallon at 45 minutes. That is the gas mileage of the Ram 1500, towing 3,000 pounds and probably about 200 pounds of payload in the bed.